Hello there, and welcome back to Dead Seater. When we left off, we got our neck broken by some kind of zombie creature. I'm not quite sure what it was. I'm pretty sure it was some kind of zombie. We're going to have to go up the stairs again. Oh, there's a light in here. Did I not have that on in the first place? It's light enough. We don't want any creatures spawning. Um, So he was up the stairs. I, there's, I don't know if he's activated by machines. It might be that we can turn the lights on down here. So we can kind of see what we're doing. The kitchen is dark as all hell. Uh, which isn't helpful. So if we can turn these lights on at the very least. Oh, this isn't even the same room. I'm so confused. And this is locked. We did get a key for it. It's a, a key to the other spare room upstairs. There's another spare room upstairs. But. Clearly. We haven't been there. <laughs> um, right, so where's the other side of the kitchen? The kitchen. The controls are driving me crazy. All right, so the kitchen is dark. We can't see the kitchen. We can come out of the kitchen. The kitchen is at the end of the hall. Right, okay. So I think we're going to have to lure the zomboid downstairs um, through that hallway and run around him and then get back upstairs, maybe. And he's going to break my neck immediately here. Oh, there he is. He's very quick. And I am very confused. He broke a light for me then. The kitchen light was back on. Nope, nope, okay, nope. He got me. <laughs> he got me. Right, okay. If we can avoid survive it for long enough, he might go back into hiding. So does hiding mean? <laughs> my neck! My poor neck! He was a chiropractor in a previous life. Um So does that mean, right? That we have to just escape him for long enough and he disappears? Or does he just go back into his room? Knocking away at the door again. Right, we're gonna get our neck broken a few times here, probably. Listen, Stompy. Oh my god! My controls! My me! Me confused! I don't know where he is. He's there! Run away! I'm gonna do the runs up the stairs now. Right, where's the other spare room up here? Oh, crap. This is his room, is it not? Oh my god, I just realized there's a seat in here. And I'm stuck in his room. In the dark. This is embarrassing how long this is taking me to find a doorway. But yeah, there's a chair right here, look. You can kind of see it when I step in front of it. See? Yes. He was seated here. Right, okay, so there was a doorway inside this room. Could this be the one? Right, we've escaped him briefly. Is he going to be... Okay, it is this one. He's going to be lurking downstairs now is the issue that I'm currently contending. The factory key? Hmm. We'll just leave that off, shall we? There's another thing here. It's the door to the attic. Okay, clearly. Right, okay, so the machines don't like the light. The zombie doesn't like me. This is terrifying simply because I can't see anything. Is there anything new in this room? We saw this room briefly. And it seems empty. I've got to find the stairway. Right. So it should be left as we get to here, slightly. Listen, mister, are you down here? The doorway's open again. Can we go outside for anything? It's night time now, clearly. There's a, a factory. I don't know about you guys, but the factory doesn't scream basement to me, but though it might. Was there anything? There was something down here. Oh, it was like we couldn't go this way. I'm going to go back to the van a second and see if we did have any supplies. Because we kind of just ran for it. This is what I would be doing in real life, is just running away. I should have saved it probably first. Is there any monsters in these woods? I don't know. Possibly. Right, there's the Vincent sign that we saw right at the start. Van, can you do anything for me here? Yeah, we know that. She hates it. What the hates this? So there was a bench there I didn't see earlier. 
and we didn't have anything in the truck. This might have been a waste of time. I don't just go. Can we leave? I don't think we can. Can we? <laughs> what happens if we run up the road? Nothing, because we can't actually do that. Right, okay, back into the house, I guess we go. I'm assuming it's the other door in the basement. It's got to be on the other side, hasn't it? Why would you not bring a torch? Is my question. Then again, we don't want to alert things, I suppose. But if we use it sparingly, <laughs> we'd be okay, I guess. Okay, I'm injured now, it looks like, unless I'm just out of breath. I didn't know that was a thing either. Right. Down the stairs we go. And through the woods. It'd be horrible if he was stood outside right now. Nope. We're okay. There was a locked box behind the house. We've got to remember that. I feel like I saw something move over here before. I think that's save room. You can snoop into there. Was he here somewhere? Right, okay. We're going to save because we have currently got a fully functioning neck. Um, I'd like to keep it that way, but I don't feel like it's going to stay that way for long. Because that guy has probably gone into the basement. Right, saved. Which is good. Right. He feels safe in here. Everything will be okay. Until it's not. I'm not even going to turn the light on. I'm getting married in two days. Are you really? Everyone will be there. God, this is so hard. <laughs> I'm just a small man walking in the middle of nowhere. What is it in front of me? I can't get around it. All right, okay. Right, we're in the dark area. Where's the chairman? The chairman's got to be around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm curious as to what's in that box at the back. I'm going to say this might be the factory. Seems to be. Why have we got a factory under our house? Questions. This is going to be hard to find your way around when it's dark, I tell you. That's locked. Control room. Of some kind. I never knew how big this basement was. Yeah, you're not kidding. What is over here? Oh, this is where we looked just a second ago. This is going to be very easy for me to get lost in. 100%. This looks water over there. Stairway? Right, okay. And then there's a way around. Right, is there anything actually over here? Oh, we can see the control room from the other side there. Right, okay. This is like, I feel like this is genius the way this is made, to be honest, because it is just crazy tense. <laughs> With not a lot going on, but like, <laughs> you know. And, and walking around in the pitch black, trying to memorize the rooms as you're going, is intense. Right, okay. So we've got a few different ways to take it. We're going to have to avoid Mr. Crunchy. What is this? Kind of looks like we can move that out the way. Those containers on like string. Well, not they wouldn't be string, otherwise, you know, that could be disastrous. Right, so this way maybe. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to escape something here, and remember the way back, and that's not gonna happen. Okay, there's a shiny here that I didn't see a second ago. Library. Where the heck is the library? Right. Okay. So. We're going to have to go all the way back out the factory. It's a lot of running up and down from the house to the basement. There's a shiny there as well. In the distance. That's going to be past the blue container though, I think. Who scattered all these keys like this? A madman? Am I that madman? I think I might be. Running around in the dark. Right, okay. Okay. So we're going to have to go through here, out the main door, and then we're going to be attacked by something, probably. Hello? All we need to do is pretend that we don't hear that, 
and then it doesn't happen. It's not real. It's not real. That never happened. In denial. Library. Where is library? I don't think we've explored all of the, fl the doors near the bottom. Near the hallway to the kitchen. Oh, I could be wrong about that. Very dark everywhere. <laughs> right, so that's locked. That didn't work. There's a door here. That didn't work. Where the heck's the library then? Well. <laughs> I don't even know where the library would be. Let's see if we can get a hint. The library is connected to the living room. The living room. Right, so we... That might be an idea, actually. It's always good to have a quick save. I think the flashing's there to remind you to save. Okay, so we'll do a quick save. Now we've got the key. Even though nothing chased us, so we would have been okay anyway. Better safe than sorry, you know? Right. So we... I think the living room is obviously left of the main doors. This way. Hello? There's banging from upstairs. Right, we can see this. This is locked. That didn't work. Right, library might be this one then. Right, this is. And it's dark. Right, okay, this looks scary. What's behind here? I don't like that there's banging every five seconds. It's discerning. Or concerning, rather. TV's gonna turn on. Hello? Right, there's nothing there. There's, where's that another door? There is another door. Let's try that first. This one opens. Oh, I was looking at the wrong door. I, this was the door I was looking at anyway. Oh, crap! Mr. Snappy's here! <laughs> God damn it. My neck! My neck! Right, okay. Right, how am I supposed to escape him this time? The controls are built for you to, uh, hurt yourself here. For sure. Uh, can I- is this permanently broken, though? This hallway? No, it opens. It turns on, rather. It doesn't open. Right, okay, so we know... Udzi is over here somewhere. I'm a bit confused as to where I am. <laughs> I could turn the lights on, that might help. Okay, there we go. Right, so this was the library. Though it didn't look like much of a library, I'm not gonna lie. Right, so we turn all the lights on. And I don't have to be frightened. Can I turn the TV on? I don't think so. Okay, we leave the light off. I'm gonna run through here. I'm gonna get stuck. We're gonna break our neck! He's gonna break our neck! Neck being broken, currently! I am stuck on a wall. I am running back towards him. Please turn around! <laughs> oh my god! My neck! Right, I couldn't turn around. <laughs> I, as soon as you start panicking, that is it. It's game over. Right, okay, turn that light on again. Round three. Luckily, my neck repairs itself. In a short period of time. Right, so key. Right, okay, I need to get a gauge on these controls, I tell you. Seriously. Right, so you kind of just, like, you run forward. Slightly. It's awkward. Right, okay. I like it, though. It does add to the tension, but there's no denying that it is slightly awkward. Right, um... Right, so we can... If I turn lights on first... I can't turn lights on first. Right, we're out. We're out. We're kind of out. Can't see! Right, okay. Where do I go? Crap, he's there! Is that another one? Back in! Back in! Come on! I'm out of breath. I am out of breath! He's gonna attack me from behind. I think he might have gone. Are we safe in the dark? I'll just turn that switch on. Why does he just vanish? He's a scary dude. I can turn this light back on, unless there's a big machine in here now. Right, is there another chair in here by any chance? What 
What? Oh, he burst in through this door. Okay. Right, we're kind of understanding things slightly better. The house has gotten bigger. Backstage key. Backstage key. Where would that even go? I got a tool belt on, is that what that is? The backstage is past the sewer in the basement. Okay. It's a good thing these hints are here, because it would be very confusing. So I guess we go back down towards the sewer. Right, at least that guy has stopped chasing us for the time being. I'm just hoping one doesn't appear down here, because uh, I don't know this area as well as I know the other. We should save first. That's always a good show. I don't have to run away from that guy again. Hopefully he's not lurking in a corner somewhere. I think the save room is here. Yes. Right, we're relatively safe. Save. Right, there we go. Right, okay, so better safe than sorry, you know? Better safe than sorry. Uh, can I get out the room, please? Right, so we're going on to the basement. Now we've saved. And hopefully not get mauled by another monster. Hello? Ominous beings of the night? Um, right, okay. I can get through. We're alright. Sue was to the right, was it not? It was, I think. I have a feeling that something's gonna come out of the water, actually, now that I think about it. Kind of scary that there's just floating things that we've got to cross. That's fine. It's been, it's been throwing me off quite a lot, actually. I, it was like the TV before. I thought the TV was gonna turn on. Earlier, I thought something was gonna jump in front of the windows as we were going past. You know when you're getting them views of the windows? And then now I'm starting to feel like there's going to be some creepy crawlies coming out of the water. I hear some kind of sound here. Key. Cool. Um, I still can't see. That's fine, I guess. Right, so what's through here? Some glowy thing. The fuse is missing. Okay, noted. Shiny. Got the attic key. Nice, good to know too. So we've got to make it to the attic now is the problem. So we've got to go back into the house. Which is a bit of a pain in the butt. Not gonna lie. Right, hopefully we don't get mauled on the way. As I built the house, my mother moved away and seemed to disappear. But why though? And I suppose my brother has no time of his own anymore. What's his brother do? Did he mention that earlier? I don't recall. So I kept myself busy. I kept ha I kept building my house as they left me in the dark. Left you in the dark? It's, this is all psychological. It's gotta be. Right, okay. Round the chair. And up the stairs. But father was always there. In different places. But always there. Is father the guy that broke my neck? <laughs> Okay, we are walking slowly because I'm terrified that the dead guy is going to come back and haunt me. What the heck is that behind me? Is that behind me or has the door moved? What was that? I'm waiting for that TV. I am waiting for it. Okay, I thought the door was, like, being held up by somebody then. Right, up the stairs. Where was the attic? I'm gonna... Do, well, obviously it's gonna be at the top of the house, but... Head through the attic to the spare room. Right, head through the spare room to the attic. But be careful. Right, okay, that's cool. Can I save? I don't know where... Whatever that was, was... Right, where are we? <laughs> More importantly. S save room? Okay. This is getting scarier as you go, clearly. Clearly there's more happening. Right, saving. We're safe now. Ish. It feels like I saved like two minutes ago, but I feel like this is essential. There doesn't seem to be anything down there anymore. There was definitely something lurking in the shadows then. Right, everything's dark up here. Right. 
It said be careful. It weirdly terrifies me. Right, there's a... Demon? <laughs> Big robot. I forgot about that from before. I appear to be going up some stairs. We're in the attic. Oh, there's a helmet thing. Is that pick upable? I hope so. This is going to add a whole new dimension to the game for sure. What the helmet? Oh, so I can unequip it. Interesting. It's going to help me see in the dark. And there's me talking about a headlamp earlier on as well. Crazy. Right, um. This can't be all there is here, though. Right, okay. Unless there's stuff in the darker rooms to find. To be found. Oh, there's something here. Where the hell are we now? Are we on the ceil- on the roof? Ceiling. <laughs> Control room. Okay. Control room was in the factory. Interesting. Yeah, I can go over the house. Is there anything on the other side? Probably not. Right, okay. So we've done that. We've got a shiny helmet. I have a bad feeling. I'm going to have to run away from something in a minute. If I press tab, I can press tab to equip my light. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I also can't leave this section. Oh my god, that does not help. I feel like this is what it's like to be blind and not be able to see anything. Where's the doorway? Is it on the other side? I thought it was over here. I'm being such a dope here, I think. Okay, maybe it's not. <laughs> this is so much harder to see now the lights have gone. Door? Where are you? There's a doorway there, but isn't that... There's a weird noise. I don't know if I'm going to be quick enough for this. That's my chest right there. Why is it started ringing in there? Isn't there a creature down here? A robot straight out of me. I'm going to unequip. And then I'm going to go round him. Press. I can press F to fix my light if it breaks. Right, okay, so we can fix that light. That's that's good, I guess. If it breaks, though. Oh, so it broke then, without me even knowing about it. I have to be careful with that one. Can we actually see in his room now? Right, so there's a chair. There was a chair in here. He was seated. Right, there's, there was a potential machine. Was there not over this way? Hello? I don't trust this. I might have to go round the... There's a big bang when I walked in here, yeah. Uh, just then. I'm chucking another quick save. <laughs> Safety's sake. This game got me shaking in my boots right now. Alright, so we've got the control room. We can move some of the containers around. I assume. I'm going to go the long way around this hallway. And I'm going to go in the dark as well, because... I feel like that's safer until the crispy guy starts chasing me again. 
I never, ever went into the basement. Okay. Well, I don't know why I walked around the table. It's probably not the easiest route. Until now. I thought all the lights were going to be off then for a second. The thing is now... Oh, Jesse, why didn't you go into the basement? Because it was bloody dark, that's why. Did you think I would go away? Is that a robot there? Do you think I would stay down here? Oh, we didn't see this before. So there's a reason for the helmet then. Oh, everything's dark, uh, dark now. There's a shadow in there. Oh, it's a ladder. Okay, I don't care about ladders right now. This is actually horrible. In a good way. In a good way. I need to, I need to emphasize it's definitely a good way, because it's uh, it freaks you out in a good way. <laughs> okay. Um, press buttons then, I guess. So I moved something. Hopefully we knew what we were doing then, and I don't have to kind of press anything again. So we're going to have to go up top now. And hope that no machines are here to come and munch on me straight away. Punch myself in the face a little bit. All the lights have gone out, which I knew would happen. Conveniently, after we picked up is that? Is that one of the lamps? Conveniently after we picked up a headlight. Uh, that's just the way back round. And then we can go up here. I'm assuming it's moved the one that had the shiny behind it. And that's going to go straight up to the house again. Shoot. Oh, nope, we got munched. We got munched. <laughs> God damn it. Sensitive to light. Now we know. We know these things now. Right, okay, so back to the I never ever went to the basement. Good to know. We know this anyway. We did read this just a second ago. Oh, Jesse, why didn't you go into the basement? I don't know why I'm reading it again, I just am. Did you think I would go away? And then we obviously turned the lights on. We saw the dead body under the tarp. Did you think I would stay down here? I did. Because you're supposed to be dead. I'm pretty sure I probably killed you. That is the conclusion I am coming to, anyway. Why is the machines everywhere? Who made them? And why are they so vicious? Right, okay, we press the switch again. Something definitely moves. I'm assuming it's the big blue container. This, at least this was nice and... That is definitely scheduled to go off at certain points. Okay, so we turn the lights off. Uh, and now we can't see where we're going at all. Fabulous. It's funny, I, I'll, for some reason, start to get the hang of all the controls, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, I don't know how to control this anymore. Okay, this is definitely a lot harder when you can't see, though, for sure. Right, okay, this is confusing. Right, that's where the monster was, I think, straight ahead. So that ringing, I'm guessing, implies that there is something close. Right, there's still a container there. Right, okay. What move, then? I'm assuming as well, if I can turn it off quick enough, we can, uh, this moved. We can stop them from activating, maybe. Right, there's a key. It's going to be for upstairs again, isn't it? So this is the shiny we saw. Locked box key two. I think that's the one at the back of the house. Right, okay. I always got to make it back past this robot thing. Leo? Metallic beastie? You here? 
I'm gonna have to turn my headlamp off in just a second. Okay, we got mauled regardless. <laughs> All right then. All right, okay, I think we're gonna leave it there uh, just for now, and we will go and get that key again in a minute, and we'll go and collect that lockbox. Thank you for watching. I hope you've liked this episode, and if you have, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.